we're, we're about 12 and a half foot deep, uh, or 12 and a half foot low. Uh, we're, we're getting to that point where it's it's going to start getting uh, a little bit more more dangerous, more things that are going to start showing. We're going to start moving buoys out, and, and you know, as the water drops, uh, things pop up that, that are going to become a hazard. So that's what we, we tend to you know, try to watch uh, on a daily basis because it, it can change daily. Some of you almost almost take kind of personal the condition of the lake. Yeah, yeah, because I want the people to be safe. I want it to be enjoyable. I want the people to be safe. Uh, but a lot of times, people just don't think about the safety. They just get out here and and go as fast as they can, and not really knowing the water. Uh, they can get in trouble real quick. They can they can damage a boat. They can they can get injured uh, real quick. I can never really tell. You know, when they say something's you know 50% full to 35% full or whatever, but I can look at the docks and stuff. I know that we're floating level when the lake's full are sitting down, and then especially looking at it, you know, you can see real clear on the dam there how where the line is that they should be full and. We're 12 feet below that. This is what we call the sandbar. State Park is right here. This is the back side of the State Park. And this is the back side of McCartney Island. This is So this is our depth right here? Yeah. Two, two and a half feet? Yeah. How much water does this boat require? Do I know? How much water does this boat require? And I can trim it up, and, and the draft, this has got about an 18-inch draft on it, so, uh, but it's, it's a heavy boat. the original homesteads here. So all that's usually underwater? Yeah, all that's usually all underwater. Can't really see it from here, but you can see the square where they, they did the, the cattle guard is the big big rock formation there, and then the one kind of in the back is where the original homestead was. 